The Popeye's Big Box is back, y'all. It's available for pickup, but I should warn you, this isn't something you're gonna want to pick up with one hand. This big box comes with your choice of two pieces of signature chicken or three tenders with two regular sides and a biscuit. So use two hands and lift with your legs because the big box is big. And at just $7, it's a big deal. Upcharge applies to breast substitution and premium products. Tax extra. Price and participation vary. Hey, it's Kyle Meredith, host of the Kyle Meredith with podcast presented by WFPK at WFPK.org and the Consequence Podcast Network. It's a series that puts the spotlight on iconic musicians and actors, inviting them to drop by and talk about their latest projects, whether it's albums, TV shows, films or beyond. I'm going to say something I don't want to say. Here it goes. Without Spinal Tap, there is no Tenacious D. (laughs) Whoa, (laughs) man. We get great stories and the biggest scoops from people like Garbage's Shirley Manson, the 1975's Matty Healy, Jack Black and Kyle Gass of Tenacious D, Maya Hawk, Kiefer Sutherland, and everyone in between. New episodes arrive every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so it's a great way to keep up with your favorite artists and discover some new ones. You can find Kyle Meredith with on the Consequence Podcast Network or wherever you get your podcasts. Merry Mini Monday, Chunkies. I'm Carter. I will be playing the role of Doge for the duration of this broadcast. And this week, it's Jordan. Today's secret word trying to see is if I can see his lips through his microphone. Wow. Can't. Don't got x ray so, eyeballs. It's so opaque, unfortunately. Friends, all good things. What if the word of the day was opaque? <laughs> if he was like, they'll never say it. <laughs> I bet they won't. I've thrown some interesting ones out there, I think. That'll be, it's just going to be fun. The, for those that don't know, that little secret word that I give at the beginning of each episode, uh, that started this year and it triggers extra credit, which is. Mm. Um, which triggers us. Which triggers ninety nine point nine percent of listeners' favorite favorite game that we play. Um, okay. All good things. All good things come to an end. There's been some big news in the world of cable TV. First of all, is cable TV even still a thing? Not for me. I don't know. I Do don't people know. say cable it hasn't been anymore? For, me for over a decade. I mean, it that exists in know. the world though. Like yeah, major channels, but even with major channels now having streaming platforms. That don't show up on the major channel. I don't know. It's like Peacock. You know, you don't get Poker Face on NBC. It's on Peacock. Wild stuff. Right. Anyways, uh, Meredith Gray of Gray's Anatomy has had her final episode. Really? Mm-hmm. 17 seasons. Ellen Pompeo is done. When hey, did this, when did this final episode seasons? air? Um, Was it like earlier this week? Mm, oh, actually, so the 23rd. Okay. Yeah. So okay, yesterday. Good. So yesterday, I wondered. I felt a great darkness. Did you feel the gray? The gray morning. darkness. Nice. I, I, felt, darkness. I woke up in a cold, a cold gray morning with no anatomy. Listen, <laughs> I, I didn't know why I was so <laughs> so, so body so moreless. <laughs> <laughs> did, did y'all watch any of Gray's Anatomy? I've seen. Um, I don't know. A couple seasons, maybe. I gave it. A, I gave it the old college try. It's not for Jordan. I took biology in high school, so I actually know how it ends. So, did not watch that one. It's with the feet. Single time. Actually. Yeah, that's actually where they just start it starts at the, head the top and- goes all the way down. Here's what we're going to do. I, I want to play Rank You very much, and it's going to be really interesting because um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show some grace here because More like we show have some grace. I've, <laughs> show some grace. I've got, I do have grace, though. Um, eight, we're, I've probably seen eight or nine seasons. But this list was just too funny to me to not share with the Chunkies. Um, Vulture 
did a list of Meredith's, what is this? Top 19 tragedies. So the the joke is, why would you stay? Why would you stay in this career if so many awful things have happened to you? We won't do rank you very much here then if, if we don't want to do that. Because it's some of these things are general, you know. I just, I'm just Wait, gonna can, read can this I, to us. Can I guess? Can I guess? Do you want to play? Well, I don't I only know a couple that I could even guess, but they they're pretty bad. But I pretty bad stuff happens constantly in that show. Yeah, you can guess. Uh, one of them is when George died. Yeah, that's number six. Number six? He did? Wait, wait, sorry. Man. Number, that's number seven. One of them is when McSteamy died. Yes. That one is number two, when she's in a plane crash and loses her sister. Remember, her sister Lexi also dies. I don't remember in the, that. In the I plane crash. I never saw it. I in the plane crash that, about, we, that we lose McSteamy. How about when McDreamy dies? Does McDreamy die? That's number that's, one, when McDreamy dies. That's yeah. true. It happens. See, episode I love it. I'm the biggest Grey's head of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Season um, eight, episode 24. That's about the time that I quit is when the plane crashed. For those of you watching about, Grey's, big, big spoilers. There was a, <laughs> there was a, like a bus crash and a bunch of people came into the hospital after a bus crash. Yep. Okay. Wait, let me get to it. I bet that's here. Hmm. Mm, no. There's a bomb. Somebody's got a bomb strapped to him at one okay, point. Okay, so that's one. Mm-hmm. That one's specifically called when she sticks her hand into a live bomb. That's number yeah. eight. Yeah, good mm-hmm. that she did that also. Um, and the, uh, there's, isn't there like a uh, like a live shooter scenario in the hospital? Like there's mm-hmm. a gunman in the hospital? Very good, dude. You're great at this. When she's brutally attacked by a patient... I have seen, by the way, one of these things. I just know the rest of these through sort of cultural osmosis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, isn't there an outbreak of some sort of disease, like some sort of really bad disease in the hospital that takes a bunch of people out? I think there is, but that's not in here. I just made that up, so who knows? Yeah, I think it is. It could very well likely. It could be. It could be. I don't uh, think it's a hot take, but that show is exhausting to me. And I it is exhausting. Imagine. I couldn't. Do I know much people more. like it because I know that it's like, especially for the drama. It's like a num 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 like all you can eat buffet. So if that's what you're into, I get that. But it's not. I for mean, me. it's border. It's borderline soap. You know. Oh, f- it's not. It t- tis yeah. tis soap. It's, it's, it's a, a straight soap. Yeah, it, that's um, a soap opera. Numbers nineteen and eighteen for her are things that actually many people probably have dealt with before. Uh, I know they have Traffic. their stats. Number 19 is when she goes to jail. Number 18 is when her appendix bursts. Number 17 is when she and what Derek... What a weird list. Her appendix burst is on the same list as stuck hand into live bomb. That's weird. Listen, yeah. At that point, it feels like that should have been cut off. We don't need to have those little things. Sure. When she and Derek briefly lose custody of their daughter. <laughs> uh, when her stepmother dies. When Christina moves to Switzerland. That was her best friend. 14 is when her dad dies. 13 is when DeLuca dies. 12 is when she witnesses uh, a suicide attempt as a child. 11 is when her house goes up in flames. 10 is when she has a C-section in the dark. <laughs> Nine is when her mom dies. So, hey, Eight. more like a can't C-section. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eight is when she sticks her hand into the bomb. Seven is when George dies. Six is when she gets COVID and is put on a ventilator. That's oh number six. God. She got COVID, y'all. Five is when she's brutally attacked by a patient. Four is when she almost drowns. Three is when she has a miscarriage while seemingly watching her husband die. Two is when she's in a plane crash and loses her sister. Number one is when Derek dies. Let's all just be thankful we are not into this Meredith show. Meredith Grey. We are <laughs> Don't not. Don't be Meredith friends with Grey. Meredith Grey because you will die. Some kind of vehicle you're, gonna that you're die. riding in or on will crash. <laughs> Maybe the, the thing that people like about Grey's Anatomy is that it's really a horror show about a generational curse that has landed on Meredith Grey. <laughs> For real. If their life is bad, they they can watch Grey's Anatomy and be like, at least I'm not like Meredith. She's it also, sounds terrible. Yeah. In my opinion, she was one of the least interesting people on the show, too. So the <laughs> Dude, fact that she in the sticks two seasons around is I like, watched a hundred percent. That's like, yeah, watching Seinfeld and George's mom is like the only person who makes it through all the seasons. You and know? her uh, her reactions to everything. I don't I don't find her acting particularly compelling for me. And her reactions to everything is always just like, and 
And and that's how I feel about that. Like it's so like <laughs> soft and little. Yeah. All of the reactions. And it's just like, how about she has had her gusto for life stomped out at every turn. This is only 17 yeah, of fair. the bad things that have happened to her. I don't know that I would have <laughs> that's much fair. enthusiasm for anything because as Meredith Grey knows all too well, happiness is only fleeting. <laughs> yeah, truly. Truly. And the people that get a job at that hospital, it's like they'd share with their family. That that place probably had a reputation. Of like, oh, cool. had that's to, gonna, you're going to die for You're sure, going to work then. at the bomb hospital? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> they don't even have lights. A um, <laughs> couple more bits of news. HBO's out in the dark, dude. <laughs> HBO's succession is going to end with season four. Season four will okay. be the final season Good. for succession. I think cool. I think that is usually such an encouraging thing. I don't really know yep. how to quantify how I feel about how long shows should last. Because there's definitely some, too, that I'm like, let's just keep going. I don't see why not. I think Poker Face is going to be one of those shows that I'm like, yeah. You know, Columbo lasted for like three decades. And Poker Face doing kind of like a murder of the week kind of thing is like, yeah, sure. You could totally age into this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, four seasons for succession. Thunderbolts has a new member to the cast. Uh, Steven Yeun is oh, nice. oh, cool. being added to Thunderbolts. It's just a fun collection of actors and actresses for me, y'all. I mean, to have Florence Pugh, Sebastian Stan, David Harbour, Dreyfus, Wyatt Russell, I, I think it's going to be. Also th- Harrison Ford. Yeah. Harrison Ford showing up and we're going to see him. He's going to be so CGI'd. Over the next couple of years, it's very interesting to me. I'm not totally sure what to think about it. But we talked a little bit about this in in Quantumania, if you haven't listened to that episode last week, about how there is a lot going on. We start to wonder how much weight does the Thunderbolts hold to the overall arc of the narrative of the MCU? Not sure. But Marvel is finding a way to make headlines every other day. It almost feels like they pace out these hirings and stuff. To make sure that they're always in the news. Always in the news. Guys, how do y'all feel about birthdays? Jordan, you've got a birthday coming up. When's your birthday? Uh, Tomorrow as the crow flies. Whoa. Tomorrow, t- tomorrow as of recording, not as of release. Mataro. Is there anything you want to say to yourself? Like when you listen to this episode, you'll be older. Mm-hmm. You may have lost some of that youthful spark. Is there anything you want to say to yourself from young Jordan to old Jordan? Great question. No. Wow. How that's funny is that, man. dude? How funny dude. is yeah, that's that, that's really dude? funny. That's it's called engaging so with the bit. That's actually so funny. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. Give me a second to recover. Give me just a second to recover. I don't think I can. I'm just <laughs> go ahead, I'm laughing Go ahead and much. pick up all the guts, time. The, the guts that got busted, dude. Gosh, busted my gut. Right busted his half. gut. That's going to be like number eight on his, his most, most tragic, tragic things, things that happened. Yeah. Yeah, uh, not so do, as not as bad as everybody I know exploding in their cars or planes or boats, though. So yeah, yeah. could be worse. My number That's one, my number one is the day that everybody I know got food poisoning and died. Yeah, <laughs> it was so sad. It was so sad. Mine was when my dog ate my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard day because who, who? How can you be mad at her? You know, I couldn't stop watching. I just <laughs> watched. It was so slow. It was so slow. <laughs> At first, I was like, is that even Chelsea? No, that's Chelsea. Um, <laughs> let's do a Star Was Born. Jordan, would you like to do your birthday? Yeah, I'd love to. All I your twins. So this All would be February tw- February 25th. Yeah. For our those who were born. Most excellent. For those of you that have not played A Star Was Born with us, it's really easy. You can play every day. Every single day of the year, if you wanted to. It's the most flexible born. game of all time. It's a truly flexible game. Uh, and I am going to have uh, the date, obviously, and the year in which a star was born and how many credits that star has. These guys get three random shots at that list of credits on IMDb to try and guess who our star is. Uh, our first star was born February 25th. In 1971, this actor has 169 credits. Whoa. Wow. 11 upcoming projects. Whoa. Okay. Getting work, doing stuff. 52. 52? 52. 52? No, 52 years old. Sorry. Okay. 
a gentleman. Um, what, say the number again. How many of them? 117. 116. 169. Yeah, 169. Just a touch off. Yeah. yeah. Just a little off. Let's go. That's, you know what? I'm adding that to my tragedy list. Let's go That's 160. Not, that was so embarrassing. How do you feel about that? Yeah. I'm good with that. Oops. Should only be about I'm a probably, year ago. I probably shouldn't include on podcasts on here. I'm not going to do That'd that. That'd be great if you didn't. Supergirl TV series. I've never seen any of that before. Doge, I don't know. No, I don't either. Uh, you pick the number next. 70. Mm. Wait, I changed my mind. 150. I, my, I'm just scrolling so much. Okay. <laughs> 150? I'll get to it. Yep. With the magic of editing. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, well, it's just one episode. We don't have to do that. Minecraft story mode. No, that's That weird. did help. Okay, yeah, thank you. Well, that one, one just episode. give it away. One episode of Minecraft. One episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. But also Supergirl. I mean, there's a million people who are only in one single episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so that doesn't super help me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perhaps even earlier we go. Yeah, that just worries me. That's going to be like some TV show from like the 80s that I've never heard of. They have 169 credits. There's no way to even try to get a good guess. I don't think they would have a TV show in the 80s above 100 if Brooklyn Nine-Nine is 20 uh, credits ago. Depends on when their episode was. That show started in like 2013, I think. 14, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it started more recently than that. I don't know. Andy Samberg's always looked the same age. That's true. He really has. Let's go. It, oh, you always hear you always hear Paul read this. Paul read that. Doesn't age. Doesn't age. Nobody talks about Andy. Nobody's talking about Andy. What about Andy? Let's go 125. Yeah. 125. You're a final guess. He's almost there. 125. Mom's night out. Oof. Yikes. You know, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. Only one episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I kind of am thinking it's Patton Oswalt. Let's do it. He would be a, he would be about the right age. He's he's about big the right into the age. comic book stuff, so I could see him contributing to Supergirl in some way. I um, actually think he's in Supergirl. And I don't know if it's the power of suggestion, but it does seem like he's in Supergirl now. The Minecraft thing the makes me feel like suggestion. I'm leaning yeah. towards him. Let's go Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt. Lock it in. Happy fifty second birthday, Sean Astin. Oh, I knew that I shared the birthday with Sean Astin. There you go. Sean Astin's in an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah, I can't think of which episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine Sean Astin's in. He sure is. Who does he play? Can you see who he plays? No, too late. Yep. Well past it. Sorry about you. Uh, We're not going to do this, but you share a birthday with Carrot Top. Did you know that? (laughs) No. Ooh. (laughs) That's why you remind me of him. So much. We've definitely played on your birthday before. I'm going to try and switch this up. I'm going to try and switch this up a little bit. Okay. Sean Astin was faking being like a police captain. Yeah. But he was really a hacker. Yep. Totally forgot about that. Wow, dude. I love Sean Astin. I literally don't think I've ever not loved him in anything. This actress was born February 25th, 1986. She currently has 20. Acting credits. See, that's more reasonable, Sean. How about we? Two, how about we stop saying upcoming, yes to everything? Two Sean? upcoming a project. Is Sean Astin one of my favorite actors of all time? I or know you is love Sam, Sam just dude. one of your favorite characters? I know you time. love some Sam. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Sam's Sam's one of my favorite characters of all time. But I also love Sean in everything I've ever seen him in. Rudy made me cry. This is a good movie. Hmm. Sean is usually pretty good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's got to be top seen ten Rudy. for me. I've never seen the You've Goonies. You've never seen Rudy. Never seen the Goonies. you never seen the Goonies? I haven't mm-hmm. seen it since I was a kid. It's not one it's that I minute. connected to on the same level that it seems like a lot of people did. Yeah. 20 credits. Like, kind of like Grey's season 20 12. credits. Much yeah, like Grey's season totally. 12. What, what Total if we go, skippable season. What if we go 19? Let's just go one back. Yep. 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 Star Trek Prodigy. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, no. Nine episodes. It looks like this is animated. That's fun. That is fun. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to watch every episode of it now. 7.3 rating on IMDb. That's pretty good. 16, perhaps? Yeah. She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. I didn't watch it, so I don't know who's in it besides Tatiana Maslany. 
No, it's not Tatiana Maslany, is it? It is. It is. Yeah. Let's guess one more. Is she? Let's go. Is she only five years older than me? She can't be only five years older than me. You want to go fourteen? I think either fourteen or twenty. The newest thing. Let's go fourteen. Let's go fourteen. I, maybe let's go back in time. Maybe it's a Marvel person, and we can hit another Marvel project. Let's go fourteen. DC League huh. of Super Pets. Is this uh uh? Is her name Jamila? Jamil? Who's, Jamila Jamil. Uh, yeah, could be. Who's Tahini in The Good Place? Totally could be. Because she does voice acting stuff too, because she's got a pretty distinctive, great voice. Man, I like her a lot. I would love to share a birthday with her. She's great. Let's go, Jamila you Jamil. Lock her in? Yeah, let's go, Jamila let's Jamil. Guess. Jamila. Happy birthday. Happy 36th to Jamila Jamil. Great job, guys. Mm. Nice. Mm. Well done. So she's much more than five years older than you. I thought it was 89. Was it not? 86. 86. 86. 86. Yeah. You probably would have got it sooner if you had known it was 86. If I had realized it was 86. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest. I'm not going to do more from your birthday, Jordan, because I think you're going to remember these. I didn't remember one of my favorite actors ever, but. Okay. That's fair. Do you want, uh, do we want to go with the. Do what you need to do, my guy. You know. Do we want to go with the the 37 year olds or the 46 year old? 47 year old. 37 Ooh, or 47. That's big. Doge wants to do the 47. Let's do the 47. I didn't want, I was doing it in sign language. I didn't want Carter to know it was my idea. Oh, <laughs> it was me. February, it was all me. February 25th, 1976. This actress has 79 acting credits. Oh, good for you. Less than half of Sean Astin's. <laughs> so, like, how successful can they actually be? Yeah, I mean, really? Really, though. What say you? We go 74? Yeah. Let's go 74. On the Rocks. Dude, I don't even know what That's that not, is. Yeah, you made that up. How many total credits? 79. 79. Y'all just did 74. You want to do... Mm-hmm. Okay, we have two options. We could do the most recent one, or we could do the funny the number. The funny number. Let's do the funny number. Yeah, 69. <sighs> Klaus. Rashida Jones. She Dude, the seven. way you freaking walked in, you said that with so much confidence. He was just this like, is Rashida Jones. Rashida. Is she 47? Guaranteed. Yeah, because you have Joan, another guess. Joan, Joan Cusack's older than that. Yep. Joan Cusack in Klaus. Yeah. She's uh, the leader of the, like, one of the mean, <clears throat> like, oh, groups yeah, of people. Right. Yeah. What a great it's movie. Rashida. It's her and Will Sasso. Cool. Let's, let's keep on guessing. Um, let's try and hit por- Porks and Rack. Let's go fifty. Yeah, four. That's what was your? What was two. Klaus for y'all? Sixty nine. Remember what? Sixty nine. Oh duh. You said sixty four. No, fifty four. A very Murray Christmas. That's you were even very more close, recent though. than Parks and Rec. Yeah. yeah, Parks and Rec is three away. Let's go, Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. Happy birthday, Rashida Jones. You are you are much older than I thought you were. But yeah, I, I, I would guess that makes sense. I guess I would have guessed 40, perhaps. You know who's a surprising, surprising age? Mm. Owen Wilson is mid 50s. He's, I was he's say like 55, probably. Closer to six. He would have been dead on. He's Doge. just. Really? Yeah. I got, I got a sixth sense about these things. I can't be beat today. He's kept that youthful vigor, you know? It's because like- Meredith Gray is finally gone. She was limiting my power. That's from what her it was. At her it was a, por- a portrait of Meredith Gray. What do you think Owen Wilson, as we go into the ad break, what do you think Owen Wilson says to himself in the mirror on every birthday? Well, keep it up, guy. Wow. Wow. Keep it up, guy. Another year year older. Wow. Am I going to watch Wedding Crashers tonight? Still still just as handsome. See, that's That's Joan Cusack. (laughs) Oh, that was great. Did you mean to do that? Have you ever tried Joan Cusack? (laughs) Uh, Actually, still haven't tried Joan Cusack. (laughs) Let's go to ads. Ad break. They say money can't buy happiness, but yes, it does. If you find five bucks on the sidewalk, you're pretty happy. Now imagine that happening all the time. With the Upside app, you find cash in places you never expected. Restaurants, grocery stores, gas stations, all the places you go. There's cash back waiting for you to find it. Will Upside solve all your problems? We can't promise that. But it will give you a little something extra so you can treat yourself. And there's nothing like a few unexpected bucks to brighten your day. 
That's life on the upside. Download it today. Get the free Upside app and use promo code GOODLIFE10 for an extra $10 cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's promo code G-O-O-D-L-I-F-E-1-0 for an extra $10 on the free Upside app. Start living life on the upside with the free Upside app. Welcome back. The secret word of the day was wow. You did that. You, you set that us. Up. Oh, stupid shark. I threw chum on the water and he ate it. Oh, idiot. The rat wanted the cheese so bad. What a dummy. You can't make this word of the day wow and then just dangle <laughs> Owen Wilson like, in front hey, of Hey, what us. do you think Owen Wilson probably says no! all the time? I knew any the first time that I ever baited you guys, it's just going to maybe be in your head now. For any question I ask you, don't say what, what he thinks we'll say. It's because you done messed with the game. I did mess with the game. I had to do it once. That's the only time I'll mess with the game. You know Lies. me. That's, well, I do know you. That's not you true. You guys know Falsehood. me. You know me. Um, let's just we're do gonna it extra credit. Mini Monday's about to be a maximum Monday. Let's go. Uh, let's just for play the who, game. Uh, for those who don't know about extra credit, figure it out. Um, <laughs> let's do Game of Thrones. Any okay. actors or actresses from Game of Thrones. Okay. Think we can get Sean Bon. Let's go, Pedro. He's having a moment. Okay, yeah, Pedro Pascal. They're trying to guess his top four credits on IMDb. They're trying to get nine points. They can get fifteen. They get extra credit if they get all four of the IMDb credits correct. What would be y'all first? Yeah. Start with Game of Thrones. Obs. Not going to be there. Mandalorian. You don't think Game of Thrones is in his top four? Can absolutely guarantee it's not there because it's going to be like. Mostly movies. It's gonna be like Mandalorian, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, Wonder Woman, and then something we've never heard of. See, I think it's gonna be Mandalorian, Game of Thrones, uh, Narcos is for sure in his top four. Dude, TV shows are never in there. He's not gonna have three TV shows in his top four. Okay, it's gonna be movies. You wanna go Mandalorian? You think that's in his top four? I do think Mandalorian's gonna be there. Yeah. Okay. Mandalorian, lock it in. Lock it in. Bing, 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 bing. Mandalorian number one. That's crazy no way Numero it's like the Udo. uh i do think wonder woman 1984 is going to be in there okay because it's a, a big budget superhero movie okay how you feel about that i do not think it is there but let's do it wonder woman 1984 lock it lock i it want in. wonder woman 84 whatever it's called. it's called lock, lock it in. in bing 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 number four nice i do not think there's any universe where unbearable weight of massive talent is in his top four okay you think it's more shows that's what he's done the most of. Yeah. I think there's, I don't know. I was wrong about Wonder Woman, so who knows if we can trust my judgments here. I just think Unbearable no Weight wasn't big enough or monetarily successful enough to break this yeah. top four. Okay. So what do you think it is? Game of Thrones I think, or Narcos? I think Narcos is definitely there. Okay. Let's lock in Narcos. Lock in Narcos. Bong bong. All right. I'm done guessing. <laughs> I'm, I'm three times wrong. <laughs> where does this rank on your meredith gray style tragedy list number it's one high <laughs> yeah unbearable way to massive talent i guess because i think it's lock definitely it not there which means it is lock it in <laughs> lock it in <laughs> bong bong number one the mandalorian number two kingsman the secret service number three game of thrones number four wonder woman 84 i just want to point out that he's in kingsman for about Six minutes. I and also not it's not even the good Kingsman? Kingsman. No, no, no. He's in. It's not. He's not in Kingsman: The Secret Service. He's in Kingsman: oh. The Golden Circle or whatever. Oh, he's in the okay. second Kingsman movie. He's in it for about six minutes. That's not even the good Kingsman. I also want to point out that Game of Thrones is there. It's the biggest thing he's ever done, and I can't believe it's not number one, even though it ended poorly. The fact that Mandalorian is up there. At number it's one Star is Wars. crazy. It's Disney. He has an action figure from that. He doesn't have an action figure from Game of Thrones. Actually, he probably does. I bet there's a Prince Oberon action figure. Yeah. I'd love it. I'd love to have it. Next, we said scene. You guys scene. think? You guys think Last of Us will crack his top four? Yes, in like too. a year. I think that yeah. he he'll will, win awards for it. I think that he will end up best known for Joel, Peter Dinklage. You think, you think we could get Ed Sheeran? <laughs> <laughs> That should have been our sign, shouldn't it? 
It was. I mean, <laughs> I was I was starting to be a little out on that. Should have been our sign. When a non-meta show goes meta towards the end of its lifespan, that's when you know they've run out of ideas. Yep. Amelia Clark, Kid Harrington, Sophie Turner, Macy Williams. Not even going to try. No, I need to. Nikolaj Kosterwaldo. Almost. I think hey. it's Nikolai Kosterwaldo. <sighs> um, I think we could Gwendolyn get, Christie? I think we could get Kit, Sean, and Amelia, and I don't know if we could get anybody else. Actually, I don't even feel that confident about Kit, if I'm being honest. I brought up Game of Thrones because of Christopher Ibju, who's in our show I tomorrow. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't know how to say it. I would, I would guess like Kivu. Tormund Giant Spain. Natalie Dormer. I don't know anything you she's give, been in. You want to give Sean Bon a shot? Yeah. Makes me nervous if I'm being very honest with you. I don't think we're going to get it. Okay, let's not do it then. Let's I mean, do things else, we're good at. Who else? Only we, things we're good at. Who else would we get, you know? Let's give it a swing. I bet we could get Amelia Clark. Probably. Yeah. You want to give you want to give Amelia Clark a shot? We also have shot? Momoa. Yeah. We could give Momoa a shot. That's true. Momoa's up there. Let's do Amelia. Yeah. Amelia Clark. She almost has my birthday. Wow. Ooh. <clears throat> Top four credits. What say you? Got to be Game of Thrones. That's obvious. <laughs> Can you imagine? Tell me you don't Lock think Game of Thrones is no, in. I do. I do. I do, but I think it's not. I think it should. I do think it's there, but I don't think it's there. If ga- Listen to me. If Game of Thrones is not in Amelia Clark's top four, I'm done with extra credit, and Jordan will no longer be participating. Doge gets to play by himself. For, not today. In perpetuity. Watch me win. What if I'm really good at it by myself? Could be. Could be. Game of Thrones, lock it in, please. Yeah. Lock Same it in. Words. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah. Number, Number one. one. Yeah. Of okay, course. Okay, okay. She's the main character of one of the biggest shows of all time. Of course it's in there. I think Solo, a Star Wars story is going to be in there. You think so? Got an action figure of her. Sure. Let's do it. Solo, a Star Wars story. Lock it, lock it in. Bing, 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 bing. Number four. I think Terminator Genesis is going to be in there. Really? What, what yep. was the she love? She played Sarah Connor. What was the love movie she was in? Last Christmas. Wasn't there a, a different one? I don't know. Last Christmas was the thing that she did that is a movie based on the song. The song by Wham, yeah. We're like about an organ transplant. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's wild. It's so funny. The concept. I've never seen the movie. Uh, okay. You want to go Terminator? Yeah. I hardly know her. Let's go Terminator. Lock it in. <laughs> Old timey. Are you locking it in, Doge? Yeah. Bing, yeah. bing, bing. Number two. Okay. That's huge. She plays Sarah Connor. <laughs> Sarah Connor, mother of dragons, <laughs> mother of dragons, Jamie, <laughs> breaker of chains. Have we done any voice? Has she done any voice <laughs> acting? We can't. We're not thinking of. No. So you're thinking Last Christmas? I do. I do think Last Christmas. Yeah, let's do it. But it could be something else. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of anything else she's in. So let's do it. Let's do Last Christmas. Why not? Lock it in. Bong bong. Yeah. Sure. Bong bong. Mm-hmm. Number one, yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Number two, Terminator Genesis. Number three, Me Before You. That's the one that I was thinking of. I knew there was a non-Christmas mm. one. Come Number on. Four, I just couldn't think Solo, of Solo, a Star Wars story. We I have five points. I even yeah. almost called it Me Without You, which is an old, like, all. Oh. all <laughs> yeah, I would have given you that. I would have given you like that. Like grunge 2000s band. She's in there with old Sam Claflin of Hunger Bless Game you. fame. So we have to get this next person perfect. Perfectly. Good. Peter Dinklage, Kit Harrington, Lena Headey, Sophie I don't Turner. Think, I don't think that's Gwendolyn enough. Christie. Right. We could do Momoa. Natalie Emmanuel. It's just Game of Thrones and then which Fast and Furious movies. Yeah. Richard Madden. Mm-mm. That'd be pretty tough. Rose Leslie. Tom Lachia. We're not going to get Sean Bean perfect. I don't think. We could do Ian McShane. Natalia Tenna. I don't, I don't know who I don't that think is. we're going to get Ian McShane perfect either. I wouldn't. At least. I'm just trying to, think, I'm trying to think of any of the stunt casting they did to get us out of the Game of Thrones hole. You know what I mean? Mm. Where it's like this person was there for like an episode. Yeah. Ooh, tough. This is, this is tough. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Man, Scene Bean's one of the last credited people. I think for Game if we did Momoa, Game of Thrones is definitely not there. I think it's not there. I think it would be... So then what is it? Aquaman, Justice League. I think we've done Momoa recently. Have we really? 
And I think that Justice League and Zack Snyder's Justice League are both in there for him. Is that right? Or did you think that was right and then we were wrong about it? You know, this is the age old question. This is extra <laughs> credit extra every time. Extra credit math we must do. <laughs> Game of Thrones is so hard. I hate that you made us do Game of Thrones for this because yeah, they're all tough. in Game of Thrones and then like two other things, except for a couple exceptions. We yeah. could do, we could try Peter Dinklage. Let's give Peter Dinklage a try. Oh my God. Destiny the game. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to try Peter Dinklage. I was just. Attempting to make progress. Sean Bond. Sean Bond not going to get it. I mean, the bottom line is, not going to get it with anybody. Let's do That's Momoa. True. Let's give Momoa a shot. Okay. Once you remove the possibility of success, it's really easy to just throw whatever sticks to the wall. Okay. Is Dune there? Uh, I do not think so. Okay. I'm, I'm Let's start with something we know. Here. Aquaman. Aquaman's definitely Aquaman. There. Lock it Absolutely in. Absolutely Aquaman. Lock it in. Bing, bing, bing. Number one. Stupid. Six Which, points. Which of the two Justices League would you like to lock? Aren't there two Aquamans? The second one's not out yet. Got it. I mean, I feel like because I will be going to see me, the second I'm, one. I am waiting with bated breath for this movie. Actually, so you here's guys the news about Aquaman. To- no, no, no. Listen to this bit about Aquaman. People were uh, like press, uh, press people, credit, press, <laughs> credit people. I don't know. It's gone from my brain. Uh, some industry insiders were given Reporters? Tickets, free tickets. Yeah, to an early screening of Aquaman. And uh, the one? last thing, uh, Aquaman 2. Yeah. Like it screened like a, a week ago. Uh, and DC's trying to hush it way down and not let anybody know. But the last I read about it from a pretty reputable leaker, uh, almost all of them walked out of the movie because it was so bad. Yes. that doesn't They were given me. a free ticket to Aquaman 2 and said, that- I would rather do anything other than finish this movie. No. DC had never set up for us in that universe that anything would be good. Why aren't people fast and furiousing Aquaman? It's it's not good because well because it doesn't know what it is. Okay, Fast and Furious knows what it is. It sent a car into outer space. It doesn't know what it is. <laughs> Aquaman's fun. I think y'all could have a blast watching Aquaman with me. Wow. <laughs> No feedback <laughs> at all. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. That's amazing. I'll remember this day. <laughs> Carter's going to invite us over for something super important and just going to hit play on Aquaman. Wow. The first guitar riff and there he is. Oh, it is Wet. good. I do like I'm it. I'm not saying it's good. <sighs> Did you know that Zack Snyder filmed all of Aquaman in his backyard? It's crazy, Unbelievable, dude. dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. His backyard's in the ocean. Jared Leto's Gucci character is in that movie. I don't want to think about Jared, Jared Leto's, Leto's Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Do you know I actually heard... <laughs> Actually, heard when he was filming Suicide Squad that Jared Leto mailed his Gucci to everybody. (laughs) Just to get into character. I heard that too. Wow. (sighs) That was wonderful. (laughs) Each time it just said return to sender. (laughs) Because I've got to send this to the next person. That was wonderful. (laughs) Double it and pass it on. All right, you got Aquaman. You Uh, have done the all we're gonna get twice. You've done him more than once before. Justice League. Lock it in. Lock it in. Bing, 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 bing. Seven points. If you get these next two, you win it all. Yeah. Zack Do you Snyder's want a hint Justice at all? League. Can we wait? No. Can we wait for Zack Snyder's Justice League? Until yeah, we'll the do last it last. Guess? We'll do it last. Because I, I just don't know that there's both. Especially because one's bad and then the other one's really bad. Do you know what I think? Do you know what I think? Mm. I think the last two credits are Batman versus Superman and Zack Snyder's Justice League. I think his top four might be Oops All Aquaman. I just realized right now that I don't care if we lose this. Let's do it. Let's do Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Lock it in. <laughs> Lock it in. Bong, bong. Okay. Zack Snyder's Justice Zack League. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Lock it in. Lock it in. Bong, bong. Number yeah. one, Aquaman. Okay. Number two, Justice League. Number three, The Bad Batch. Number four, Dune. Dune is there. Dune is there. Dune is Dune there. Dune is there. Dune is there. To end today's episode, what is your biggest wish for Jordan's birthday? Is this 31? 29. 
gosh, dude, to forget how babies you guys are. Such a baby. For Jordan's 29th birthday, what's your number one wish? I'm Carter, and it's that he would be down to watch Aquaman with me within the next 12 years. <laughs> I'm Doge, and I want Jordan to watch Aquaman with Carter in the next 11 years. Wow. Ooh. I'm Jordan, and I want Carter to accept me as a man. <laughs> As an Aquaman and only. not a baby, Sorry. and yeah. not a baby. I'll only talk to you if you're drenched. No, I'm I'm young and supple, powerful. <laughs> it's what a lot of the iTunes reviews for our podcast say. I love how supple Jordan is. <laughs> That's what keeps me coming back week after week is how supple Jordan is. <laughs> Kroger, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations, which is why we're dedicated to doing up to a 27-point inspection on our fruits and veggies, checking for things like scarring. In fact, only the best produce, like zesty oranges and crisp carrots, reach our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh, our higher standards mean fresher produce. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Save big on your favorites with the buy five or more, save a dollar each sale. Simply buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with your card. Kroger, fresh for everyone. 